Hi, it's Lucy again, and today I want to show you how to start your journal. There are so many different things that we can do when we're doing a journal. Um, I've just bought this little book. I'm heading away on a trip overseas, so you'll be joining me on the trip if you keep watching my videos. And as I go on the trip, I'm going to continue with this journal and show you all different ways to do it. I'm not going to show you lots of finished journals now. I actually want you to go through the process with me. So what I have here is some tissue paper and I'm just going to show you a really tech a good technique because one of the things we have when we do journaling is that fear of the white page. So all you really need is tissue paper, comes in a packet like that. It's always creased so it's folded into three and I'm going to show you how to, to use it. So this is just with an inkjet printer, if you've got an inkjet printer that's great, it doesn't really work with a laser printer but I'll show you step by step. So I hope you enjoy. So I've got some A4 paper here. You just need a sheet of that. And we're going to print onto tissue paper. But the trick here is that we need to stick this tissue paper down onto this paper first and stick it down firmly so that it doesn't damage your printer. So what all I do is cut paper into pieces. And because it's already got a crease there, I use that to my advantage. So you'll now have a single piece of tracing paper or um, tissue paper. This is the same tissue paper you use for your shoes. Just stick it down with tape like that. Making sure that you are sticking it exactly in the middle of the page. So if you look at that, I've got the tissue paper central on the page. Make sure you trim the excess paper off the side so it doesn't get stuck. In the now I've just set up on my computer my mandala about the middle of the page, remembering that the tissue paper only covers a third of the page so make sure that when you put the mandala on it's about that size you could also do some writing so I'm going to put on Lucy's trip away and just make it whatever the writing whatever size you like now you could do this in Microsoft Word I'm using Corel but if you don't have Corel, you can most certainly do it in Microsoft Word. Do a letter style you like. Now this just gets rid of the plain black and white page. So it's a bit interesting to do it this way. So I've got that all ready now to print. And I'm going to put the paper in the printer. But when I put the paper into the printer, I, make, I need to make sure it's one of the feeding trays. So you know the tray at the back or the tray where you can actually feed it through so it's not coming from one of the drawers. And voila, one beautiful mandala. What's really great about this, it's still your artwork. You can do the colouring, scan it, put it in. Can I tell you it works so much better with a cheap printer than it does with your more expensive printers so you don't need to go out and buy anything really expensive. I'm going to now cut out the design, just roughly cut out around the mandala. I leave it on the paper so it's actually easier to cut out because tissue paper is not so much fun to cut out. So we've got our tissue paper mandala and I've got my words. So we have the words. Okay. Now I love this little journal because it's got an elastic tie band that I can keep it shut. I can open it up obviously. When I open it up, it's got a little pocket so I can put things like tickets and things like that into it which will be really great on my trip. The book also lays flat so you can work across both pages. So you can watch each page lays flat. So this is great when you're sticking pictures across it. You can even stick tissue paper and things like that across pages and it won't break it. And see how beautiful and bright this becomes. Now 
I've decided this time that I'm actually going to do the front with my mandala because I really wanted to start this with a um, colourful start. So I've got gel medium, which is this one here. You can use white glue like Aquadia or any of those sort of glues, but I'm using a matte gel medium, okay? And I'm just going to squirt some of that onto the page and spread it out. I like a bit of te texture as well, so I don't mind if I end up with it a bit lumpy. So I've spread that out over the top, and now I'm just going to put my mandala on the top of that and press it in. And the beautiful part is now, if I go over the top of my mandala, I can almost make that paper disappear. Now just be careful you're not too rough. You can also paint over the top of this now. Just try to get all the air bubbles out. Okay. This is a terrific way if you feel like you're, you want to be creative and you don't feel like you're comfortable with drawing all your own pictures. If you um, want to colour my mandalas and add them to a journal, that's a really nice way of doing it as well. Just make sure all the paper's laying nice and flat. And like I say, I'm not trying to get a really smooth texture. Okay. When that dries, that tissue paper will become more and more clear. You can also cut really neatly around the edges if you like. But this is just another way to add some pictures to a journal. I'm also going to add some tissue paper. So you can get some really beautiful serviettes these days. The most important thing is to separate it from its backing. So I'm going to tear up some really pretty, because I really like the colour, I'm not really concerned about the detail, although you could put the detail on as well. Again, I'm going to stick this on with the medium. The reason I'm using matte medium is it's because it's a little bit easier to paint onto later, because I want to paint the front. Don't try to plan this out too much. It's really nice to let it just kind of happen. So I'm just putting my paper down, brushing it down. We can paint over the top of this again. You can write over the top of it. You can color over the top of it. So I just want to make the front cover of my journal colorful and a bit exciting, a bit nice to pick up and already give me a, a good feeling before I even start. Now, the great part about this again, I know there's a lot of people who say they can't draw or they're not good at doing those sorts of things. You can choose all different papers and things like that to put on here and still get a lovely result. So you can see I'm not even worrying too much about where I'm putting this paper. Now it's good to let it dry in between coats. I've even got it hanging over the edges a bit. I can trim that later. Don't worry about it now because that's when you start to think about it too much. It's green. You might even have some lovely verse that you found in a magazine. I really love um, different quotes. You can stick one of those quotes, little bits of paper any little bits of tissue paper that you might find. So when you're out traveling, it's a great time because when you travel you'll find, you'll have tickets and things like that. I may decorate this like this right now, but once I start traveling, I might end up putting tickets across it or changing it. I'm not even concerned that I'm covering my mandala a little bit. Okay, so what I'm doing is just creating a background. The next thing we're going to do is put some paint down on that as well. I'm loving the colors. I love this beautiful hot pink. So it's a color that makes me happy. And this trip, I hope, will make me happy. So I'm going to use it. Now this one's got a rubber band on it here. 
So just make sure you keep lifting that up so that you don't end up with that stuck to your book. Okay, you can even tear it away like that. Okay, that's another stage. I've allowed this to dry for a while and now I'm going to add some paint to it. And this is just to show you, you don't have to stop in one spot. You might look at it and go, I love it how it is and you can leave it like that or you can add things. So I've mixed up some purple paint and it's even got some of the medium left in it. And I'm just going to add a bit of purple here and there. Don't want it over my writing. So I'm just going to go around the edge of my journal with this. This is just purple acrylic paint. Please use acrylic. Um, gouache is great but it can also um, deteriorate if it's wet again. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this purple and you're going, oh she's covering all the pink and I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to get a little bit on this elastic but don't worry about it. So I'm going down the sides a little bit but not too neat. I might even paint right over the top of Lucy's away. And I can then get my tissue paper, even make it a little bit wet if you like to, and just clean it off spots where you go, oh, I really like the look of that pink there. I'm just going to clean off those spots. And that's why it's so important that you have it dry before and don't rub too hard. I want to see my wording. Okay. So you can see you're starting to build up colors. Now, every time you do something, you go, oh, I might like a little bit of white on that now. So I'm going to add a little bit of white. So it's a playing thing. And if you decide that you don't like it at all, there's nothing stopping you covering the whole thing later. So this time I'm going to use white, but I'm going to use a very a harder, drier brush. And I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighting here and there. I should have probably let it dry a little bit. So I'm going to go around my words. And adding a bit of white. Now I think pink, purple and green look great together, so I'm going to highlight my trick. So that's not the end of it, but you can see I'm starting to create a bit of a colourful front on this journal. This becomes my journal, it's unique to me and every time you try to do something like this it becomes unique to you. So I'm just going to put some purple. Just don't be afraid to put paint down. Lots of people are afraid. You can always paint over it. You can always start again. This is a paper cover. So I'm going to put a little bit around the mandala to make it stand out. This mandala I've actually created because I'm really looking forward to my trip. I hope some of you have coloured it already. So you can see I'm just creating a bit of colour and I might now even find some more things to stick on it. So you just keep on going till you're happy with it and sometimes that might not be straight away. I, th I really do think that I'll find something on my trip that will really bring this all together and it'll all start to make sense. It's all about just expressing at the time. Don't be too overly critical of what you do. It's going to be, you want it to be fun, you want it to be enjoyable and if you're too critical at the time and you're trying to get a perfect cover, you may never ever get to the next page. So just give it a go and enjoy. I'll show you some ideas for the journaling in the next pages. <laughs>